What's up guys, it's Jade's Corner back here again for a brand new Fantasy Fights video and in today's matchup we are going to be following up the Scott McCall versus Lawrence Talbot matchup with Alpha Peter Hale versus Sir John Talbot. If you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys leave a like. Also, make sure you guys hit that bell icon when you subscribe to the channel to set your notifications to all so that you never miss a future upload from me. Without further ado, let's get into who would win this epic matchup. So, of course, the categories we're going to base this off of are strength, speed, skill, durability, and creativity. So, I'm going to give strength to Peter Hale. Strength definitely goes to Peter Hale. While Sir John is a relatively powerful werewolf within his own universe, Peter has feats of strength that far surpass anything we see from Sir John at any point throughout the duration of the Wolfman. Sir John is able to completely dominate his son Lawrence in a one-on-one -on -one fight due to him being a werewolf for a longer period of time and has an extreme knowledge on not only werewolves in general, but how to use his powers to their full potential. None of this accumulates to any feats of strength that I or the viewer would find superior to that of Peter Hale as an alpha in his beast state. By far the most impressive feat of strength that Peter has showcased is the ability to lift werewolves such as Eric Hale in the air while piercing them through their body with one hand. This feat of strength alone surpasses anything Sir John or his son Lawrence does throughout the film, including the feat of strength of Lawrence lifting and holding over entire human bodies over his head. Strength definitely goes to Peter Hale. Next category is speed. Speed goes to Sir John Talbot. While Peter Hale in his human form and beast state as an alpha is one of the fastest werewolves in the entirety of the MTV Teen Wolf series, Sir John's speed feats are just far more impressive, not only when it comes to fighting, but also traveling as well. While fighting his son, the Wolfman, aka Lawrence Talbot, we see that Sir John, especially for a werewolf his age, is extremely agile and fast in combat, leaping around and crawling over surfaces in order to get the jump on his son. Earlier in the film, when attacking the gypsy camp, we see Sir John traveling around the camp so fast, barely anyone except Lawrence after a while can tell who is killing everyone. There are also instances where Sir John appears in different areas of the camp in an instant, to the point where you would think he's teleporting from place to place, when in actuality, he's just that fast. Meanwhile, on the other end, while Peter Hell is fast, the, more, the most impressive speed the most impressive speed feat we see from Peter is keeping up with Kate's car, which was traveling at least 40 to 50 miles per hour of the most. Sir John surpasses that feat with the instance of him escaping the gypsy camp and then ending up very far away deep in the woods in a matter of a few seconds. Speed goes to Sir John. The next category is skill. We're just going to give this category to Sir John as well as it's fairly obvious he's more skilled than Peter Hale is. Peter is more of a brawler when it comes to fighting in his human form and he's not that skilled at all. When it comes to Peter in his beast state, he has zero fighting feats whatsoever as all he seems to do is just intimidate people and lift them up in the air. Meanwhile, Sir John, who has more life experience and combat experience than Peter, is skilled not only with firearms, but he's a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant as he was able to barely lift a finger and completely thrash his son around without even shifting into his wolf form. As it stated, werewolves in this universe, while in human form, still retain their strength and are as strong as at least 20 grown men or more, something Sir John showcases quite easily against his son. Skill goes to Sir John. The next category is durability, which is also going to go to Sir John as well. For this category, I'm gonna to have to once again give it to Sir John. His only weakness is silver or anything made out of silver. Other than that, he's pretty much invulnerable to all normal weapons with a slight weakness towards fire. Meanwhile, Peter Hale was easily taken out by two teenage humans with makeshift Molotov cocktails. What? And after a few seconds of being set on fire, he was down for the count and out of commission. At least when Sir John was set on fire by his son, he was still able to get, get up and fight back while being burned up and was only killed once he was decapitated. Durability goes to Sir John. And the last category is creativity, which once again goes to Sir John. Creativity goes to Sir John and this goes hand in hand with skill. He's by far the more creative fighter as Peter isn't creative whatsoever. Creativity goes to the werewolf from the Wolfman. 
And last but not least, to discuss who is going to win this fight, let's go over the matchup. So, of course, these two are fighting to the death in an instance where these two out of nowhere meet up with each other. They're both going to fight to kill. Here, of course, is not shy of killing people. Neither is Sir John. Sir John has been murdering numerous amounts of people for the last 25 years. He's been a werewolf. And Peter is still getting acclimated to his alpha powers as by the time... He died at the end of Team of Season 1. He was only an alpha for around the span of a few weeks to about a month. So, yeah. Clearly, there's a advantage when going into this fight between Sir John and Peter. Peter's still getting used to his alpha power. Meanwhile, Sir John has spent 25 years getting used to his werewolf powers and using them to their fullest potential. Now, in terms of strength, Sir John is not going to out um is, is not going to outdo peter peter is by far stronger than sir john so if peter were to get a hold of sir john i think sir john would be in a little bit of trouble but here's the catch while peter is stronger than sir john sir john is by far the superior werewolf when it comes to everything else peter is going to use his strength as his biggest advantage to get the upper hand on sir john but sir john being faster more skilled more durable as well and more vicious when it comes to fighting as when we see him fighting against his son lawrence he's literally biting into him and ripping and biting and eating his own flesh off his body so it's pretty safe to say that sir john is going to do the same thing to peter here where he's going to bite into peter and rip the flesh out of his body and we see that Teen Wolf werewolves are some of the weakest werewolves when it comes to durability. I mean, these guys literally can die from a few regular gunshots, such as Deucalion, who's arguably the second strongest werewolf in the verse. So, yeah, if Peter is getting bit by Sir John and is getting his flesh eaten and ripped off by Sir John, Peter's in a lot of trouble. Also, Peter would be able to slightly keep up with Sir John, but due to Sir John being faster than Peter, he's going to eventually outmaneuver Peter as well in terms of running and combat speed is not even a question. Peter, uh, Peter's not as fast as Sir John when it comes to fighting, which is kind of embarrassing because Sir John's an old man and he's faster than Peter Hell, who's still at least in like his mid 30s, somewhere around there by the time Peter becomes an alpha and teen wolf. And in terms of skill, Sir John is going to far outpace Peter with him jumping around all over the place. Peter is not going to keep up. He's not going to keep up. And we see even Scott McCall knock Peter around while Peter is in his B state. Scott barely pushed Peter off of him when Peter had him up in Code Breaker and Peter was stumbling around and falling on the floor, which is something Sir John is easily going to take advantage of, of course. So I think it's all around a curb stomp on sir john's part so for this the winner is going to is of course going to be sir john talbot from the wolfman see her lawrence feel her presence her power it'll be here soon you're heir to my kingdom lawrence you've always been heir to my kingdom <laughs> But what do you guys think? Do you guys think Peter Hale wins? Or do you guys think Sir John Talbot from the Wolfman wins? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. All my plugs will be in the description. You guys can go in the description and check them out. My social media is my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. They will all be in the description down below. As well as my Discord server if you guys want to join the Discord. And my merch store if you guys want to cop some merch as well as my patreon where you guys can go read my original book series true alpha which will be a part of fantasy fights as early as november so look forward to that as well true alpha chapter 3 releases this upcoming friday if you guys want to catch the first two chapters now subscribe to the patreon either the beta or alpha tier so you guys can read the first two chapters the wolf moon and spotlight and catch up on the series with that all said I'm Jade. I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day or night whenever you guys are watching this. And I will catch you guys in the next Fantasy Fights matchup video. Peace.